everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. I'm Charlie, also known as Level Cap from the YouTube channel Level Cap Gaming. Today I've got an awesome Lego set that we're gonna build. This here is Captain Rex's ATTE. Now this is a very cool set from the Star Wars Rebels TV show. It's set number 75157 and it comes with 972 pieces. Aside from the nice part count, we also have five minifigs. We've got a standard stormtrooper in case you want to bolster your army. Then we have the Imperial Inquisitor, fifth brother. We have Commander Gregor, Captain Rex, this is Old Man Captain Rex. And then we have Old Man Commander Wolf. And for those of you not familiar with the Star Wars Rebels TV show, this is where some of the clones are hiding out after the Clone Wars and the Empire has taken over. Enough talk, let's get to building and see what's in this box. Included in the box are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight part bags, a big manual, and some stickers for the set. So, let's get to building. Alright, we finished with the build. It was really fun. It reminded me a lot of building the original ATTE Walker, and I want to get into the details, but first, let's talk about the minifigs. What I really like about the fig lineup is that out of the five new figs we have, four of them are completely unique. And if you've been watching the Star Wars Rebels show, you'll know that these characters have a fairly big impact on the actual formation of the Rebellion. We've got Old Man Captain Rex here. It's kind of fun to compare him side by side by his clone trooper version of Captain Rex. Obviously, he's still a clone, but uh, this is long since his fighting days. These are the first old clone troopers that we've actually gotten in minifig form, which is really cool. And we can actually add these three clone troopers to our massive and complete clone trooper collection. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. And then, of course, fighting alongside Captain Rex, we have Commander Wolf, who's got that iconic bad eye that really sets him apart from the other clones. Both Rex and Wolf are wearing their torso clone trooper armor, although it is very, very weathered, as you can see from the detailing. And if you check out the detail when compared to their original figs, you'll notice that they've sort of removed a bunch of their under armor there. So they're really only wearing the chest piece, probably for comfort reasons, and also they've put on a little bit of weight in the show. 
Captain Rex also has some of his older markings on his chest piece there, that sort of bit of dark gray up top. It's worn away a bit when compared to the original clone trooper fig. And then the third trooper we have is Commander Gregor, and he's really not retained much of his original armor. In fact, the only piece that he still has is his white belt. In the show, none of these guys are still fighting in the army, so they don't really have to adhere to strict dress codes anymore, and Commander Gregor is a good example of that. He has, however, chosen to shave off his beard, which the other two clone troopers have let grow out, and then he's just got a gray tank top and some tan pants. The next fig up is the Imperial Inquisitor Fifth Brother. This is a really cool looking baddie. He's got an awesome lightsaber and a very interesting looking headpiece. He's a large menacing character in the show and I feel like they've replicated that well with the minifig. He's got an interesting looking green face to show off his alien origins and then he's got some custom big bulky shoulder pieces that are part of his larger chest armor. On the back of his shoulder pieces is a clip where you can actually attach his lightsaber weapon. And if we remove the shoulder piece here you'll actually see a lot more printing underneath showing off the cool details of his armor. His legs also have some custom printing which really adds to the overall look and feel of this character. His headpiece comes with two different expressions, one that just looks generally displeased, I don't think this guy's ever really happy in the show, and then his other look is very very aggressive bearing his sharp teeth. I really like this fig and he's going to make a great addition to our evil lightsaber wielding collection. Also check out that video if you haven't already. And then our last figure is a Star Wars Rebels style stormtrooper. He's totally identical to any other stormtrooper you might have got from this same theme. He's got that sort of exaggerated helmet print. I'm not a huge fan of it but it is fairly accurate to the show. All right, let's take a look at this set. It's actually got a lot of personality to it and a lot of playability. First things first, we've still got that iconic cannon on top of the AT-AT and it's sort of got a built on sunshade and it also looks like it's been broken down for parts. There's a lot of browns and tans used to show off the old rusting metal from the weapons and the rest of the model. The gun itself can fully articulate, swiveling around, and able to aim upwards and downwards. Like other ATTE models, the front of it opens up and you can remove the little driver's seat area and put whatever figure you would like in there. On top we have this cool blue landing deck which emulates the fact that this was not part of the original ATTE model. It's also got some cranes on the side that you can use for lowering the supply crates that come with it. In the supply crates we've got some thermal detonators and other things. And again, like the other models, we have a hidden handle in the body which we can use for easy carrying. On the back of the model we have a cool door with some sticker detailing but it also opens up to reveal an internal command center. You can actually take off the blue landing pad on top here and see what's going on on the inside. We've actually got a computer that shows one of the sandworm creatures, I don't actually remember what they're called, from the show that they are basically hunting for food. It also comes with a few clips for binoculars, repair tools, and even a coffee mug. On the front we can actually see the little blue lure that they use to attract the worms and there's actually a pretty fun hunting sequence during that episode. Another thing that I really like about the landing pad is that it's functional and in the show the Phantom actually lands on it and if you have the Lego Phantom you can fly it down and land it on the landing pad just like in the episode. On the back we have a cool fold out ladder in case you need to climb all the way down or all the way up and uh, we also have one foot that's completely rusted out just like in the show which I think is really cool. I mean this thing looks like it's been pieced together by a bunch of old ATTE parts as well. The feet are movable though there isn't any sort of walking poses you can really put this in it kind of just sits there for the most part but it's nice to have at least some flexibility in that department overall I have to say that this is a pretty cool model not only does it have a lot of playability but the mini figs are really cool as well there's a lot of unique figs there so you're not getting many repeats aside from the stormtrooper Usually when we're showing off cool spaceships in Star Wars models, they're always looking fairly pristine like they were just built or they're newly manufactured and this is cool because we get to see some sort of old weathered style building techniques applied to this ATTE. I really like the concept of this vehicle in the show and it really comes across well in a model. 
Anyway, that wraps it up for this unbox and review episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is an excellent set, and if you're a fan of the Star Wars Rebel show, this is a must-get. Also, if you haven't seen our Clone Trooper collection video or our Sith collection video, which we're going to be adding these figs to, you can check those out. If you click the little I button up in the corner, you can get those videos there, or you can check for the links in the video description. As always, guys, thanks for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time here on Brick Vault. Yeah.